learning you have to cut. You have to cut, you will take stop losses. So you need to cut. That's the most important thing. I'm just I'm just curious, like, you know, the evolution of of your your process, you know, when you were learning. Um, did you find that well, you know, maybe you didn't quite have your setups really um, uh, detailed out like you do now. Uh, but, you know, you were like, well, I'm, I'm sick of taking losses. I'm just going to cut the trade and, and wait for something better. Um, and then that started to also define your setups better and the clarity and what you're looking for in your setups. Or was it the opposite? Um, you know, yeah, I'm just, you know, curious, like how it kind of unfolded, how you learned how to take those losses. I would say through practice, uh, all, I, I really don't like to, to invest money if I don't have, you know, a back test system. Um, and for me as, uh, you know, in this job, you lose a lot, a lot and very fast if you don't know what you're doing. So uh, you can be reckless and, you know, start training without a really proper strategy. Uh, and you won't last that much. So, for example, when I, when I started, it was a totally different market. I was trading European markets, mainly Italian market, okay. Bank Intesa. I was like 19, something like that. And I was uh, 99, 2000. And I remember I had my small wow. account those times, 3 million liter, which was like uh, 1,500 bucks right now. I lost in one month. Click on. Basically yeah. trying to do things and having no clue of how to do it. So I was like randomly, you know, shifting from a strategy to another one and it was not working anything for me. So I, I started to observe the market, what the market is doing. And I started to research patterns. I started to see if patterns that I was seeing that moment, they were reoccur. And that first year, I, I basically find my niche. So it was very fast. And it was basically using core warrants and stocks at the same time. And core warrants are the same exact thing as options today in the U.S. market. So the same exact, you know, maybe the the percentage that I used to have on core warrants was even bigger than the one that option gave you right now. So that's how I could grow an account, you know, a small account, very very fast. And uh, what uh, would say I was lucky because the win rate was very high maybe 90%, 95% win rate was really, really crazy high. It was every time like, you know, going to the casino, knowing that you put on the red, the money in the red, and always red had to come out. When I started then moving also to futures market, to the US stock market, I didn't have any more that win rate. So I had to learn really how to lose. And it was in the beginning, like, you know, frustrating because it was coming on something that I was betting money and nine times out of 10, I wouldn't make money. So I was super sure you know, to put big size every single time. That's the reason why I was making 30 million of intermediate uh, volume per month in, in Europe. And then when I started to trade a big market as well, was around 2004, 2005, 2006, I had to cut, you know, back maybe to 100 shares, 50 shares, something like that, because I was not having not even 50% win rate. And then I need to study and observe the market again and try to find what was fit for me. For example, not everybody is a day trader, scalper, or swing trader. Having said that, I started to lose less when I started to cut faster my, my trades, but then also I was cutting too fast on my wins. So I had to work on backtesting a system, mainly manually because I'm not a programmer. So using a spreadsheet on Excel. And I did this that for years. So when people now they post their Excels, you know, 2022. Now, I was doing that in 2004, 2005, 2006, and I, I had, you know, those monitors with, uh, you know, with uh, the back over here, I had like three or four monitors under my parents' uh, stairs, and uh, my mom is over here, so she was seeing all of this, and uh, basically it was, a, you know, uh, thousands of hours of researching and backtesting, and then I was trying to cut early my trades, but then I had to the bad trades, but I had also to start to improve to have more uh, R return for my win trades, you know, to balance uh, better my, my trading. And uh, basically for me, it was really like learning that I have to cut. Something's not working, cut, 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 cut. And it really seems like, you know, 
against our human nature because you're saying to yourself, okay, I'm wrong. I need to cut it. I'm wrong. I need to cut it. But in reality, you're protecting your account and you're putting then the money on maybe a, a winner horse, not on a losing horse. That is really what, what worked for me. Oh, thank you very much, Joseph. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Uh, it's like music to, to uh, our ears, I think. Uh, uh, learning how to take a loss. Uh, and uh, also learning why it's losing. Uh, it, it dovetailing or meshing with your um, uh, back testing. Yeah. 